Ah, yes. After ages of having this expensive ass $500 box just sitting in my room, I can finally now open it. By the way, that was like extremely retarded of me to open it like that. And guys, you know, I y'all already know how ghetto the setup goes with the soup can, but God, it's just gotten worse, bro. My phone is now being held up and used as light so you guys can view the Pokemon cards, okay? I never promised this channel would be the best. I never, I really never did. So if you guys can't see already, um, this is a particular set that I, I freaking love. And oh my God, I, the more layers I unravel this, I get even more excited. They always got to make this rocket science, but the thing is it actually keeps the card safe. So I can't really complain about it, but like the chances of actually damaging the cards while trying to unravel all of it is insanely high. I feel like you can already see what set it is. It is team rocket, baby. Okay. So first off, let's take off this tape. We're going to do this just like we did the fossil set. We're going to do commons all the way up until the hollows. Cause you know, it's like basic laws of how you should do things. You know, I like, I didn't make up the laws guys. Some other guy did not me though. Couldn't be me. All right. First up the comments. And by the way, almost all of these cards are in first edition. So, oh my God, this is amazing. I've been waiting so long to do this. We got Ponyta, Psyduck, Rattata. I always had this card as a kid. Slowpoke, Squirtle. Oh my God. Everybody loves the Squirtle and Blastoise in this set. Voltorb, the boss's way. Oh, and these are just trainer cards. Nobody really cares about the trainer cards. Couldn't be me. Um, oh, a first edition energy, full heal energy. And that, that's pretty, okay. That is fire though. That, that's a, that's what I call a, that's what I call a Saturday night boys. Putting all your Pokemon cards in a binder. You know what I'm saying? That's what life be about. So we got an Abra Charmander. Now, this card is super special to me, guys. I had this card as a kid, and this is one of the cards that got sold to my friend in my collection, and that card is so beat up. Like, it looks like complete shit. It looks like somebody grinded it up in a blender, rubbed it through dirt, buried it for three years, put it up their ass, and folded it, and then took it out and straightened it with a straightener. That's what it looks like. And then we have Dark Eradicate, the only common in this set that has Dark in its name. Diglett, Dr Teeny. Also, I always had this card too. Drowsy, Eevee, Ekans, and these are a bunch of cards I already have. Grimer, Coughing, Macho, Machop, Magnemite. Dude, I love this artwork. I always had this too. I had the Mankey as well, and then the Oddish too. These cards just throw me back so hard throws me back harder than my uncle does on a Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, next up the uncommons. This is what I've been waiting for. Dark Charmeleon, Dark Dragonair. This artwork is just incredible. You gotta love it. Dark Electrode. This set had such good uncommons, like the, the evolutions, right? Dark Gloom, Dark Gold Duck, Dark Jolteon. Oh, that's in good condition. Dark Kadabra, Dark Machoke, Dark Muck. Dude, I, I just love the uncommon so much. Dark Persian, Dark Primate, the creepiest artwork out of any Pokemon. Like that artwork is so freaking creepy. Dark Rapidash, a gr another great artwork. Oh, you, you gotta love it. Dark Vaporeon, I actually own this card in Dutch, by the way, which is so weird. Dark Wartortle. Okay, so everybody loves the arts in this. Like I love Dark Blastoise. You can't dislike Dark Blastoise, right? But I don't know, the Squirtle and Wartortle in this set are just so ugly in my opinion magic carp which is an uncommon for some reason and porygon which i always had this porygon growing up it's so nice to have it as a good condition card now too what's going on guys now it's time for the segment that we do every pokemon drawing video pokemon drawing of the week and like always Nobody submitted anything to me on Twitter. So it's a, it's a lonesome episode this week, guys. So in, in celebration of basically getting almost all of the Team Rocket set, I decided to draw this lovely picture of Dark Magneton and replicate the holographic behind the card. And then I did the Team Rocket symbol behind it because I thought it was really cool. I love the holographic Dark Magneton card, but the, uh, the non-holo version is kind of very fucking disgusting. Back to the video. Guys, this is where it gets 
exciting. The non-hollow rares. The non-hollow rares. Oh, he sleeved them all up. So here's the non-hollow rare. So we got Dark Alakazam, Dark Arbok, Dark Blastoise. I finally own this card. Oh, man. And then Dark Charizard First Edition. Okay, so I never had this card growing up, right, guys? But the thing is, I had the Charmander. And obviously, if you have a Charmander, there's always a card after that's going to be a Charizard. But the thing is, I never had the Charizard growing up. I never knew what card came after it. So it's just cool to have it now. Dark Dragonite, Dark Doug Trio, which I already have, Dark Golbat, Dark Gyarados, Dark Hypno, Dark Machamp, Dark Magneton. This card is so ugly. Like, holy crap. When it's the non hollow form is so disgusting looking. Dark Slowbro, Dark Vile Plume, Dark Weezing. Here comes, dude, and these are all in hollows too. I love these holographic cards. Uh, but besides, here comes Team Rocket. You kind of can't see it at all. It's in insanely retarded. Okay, now it's time for these holographics. Now, I already have Dark Arbok in first edition. It, I ordered it with another thing. Um, Dark Alakazam. You can't even tell it's holographic, really. Dark Blastoise. Everybody loves Loves this card when you get it at the certain angle all those circles are beautiful dark dragonite dark dug trio again with the artwork a lot of these have dark gyarados dark hypno dark machamp and now my favorite dark magneton oh my god that artwork is nuts so many print lines but who cares dark slow bro dark vile plume dark wheezing which is another card where you can barely see it's holographic here comes deem rocket which you can barely see that it's holographic Team Rocket Sneak Attack with Cassidy on it. Oh, I love her. The Holographic Energy, Rainbow Energy, and then Secret Rare Raichu. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, guys. Now that I've gotten everything open, it's that time of the video to show you how I got everything set up in the binder, okay? Because the binder is what matters. This, this, this baby is what matters. God, the lighting is terrible. Hold up. All right, so I got, I got the foam flashlight out. Uh, hopefully, you can uh, see something. So we got Dark Alakazam, Arbok, Blastoise, Dragonite, Dark Dick Trio. We got the whole squad. Oh, these cards are so beautiful. And then Dark Magneton up here, my favorite card. And really, guys, you can't even tell. Here comes Team Rocket as a holographic. It, it's terrible. At least you could tell Rocket Sneak Attack is. All right. So, and obviously I'm missing holographic Golbat and Charizard. So next page, this is where shit gets real, okay? We got the whole Charizard line up front because you already know that's the best. And then we got these boys down here. I basically, as you guys know, I basically set this up to look as nice as possible just looking through all the, the whole Squirtle line right here. And then I had to set it up like this, here to here, and then here to here, which is pretty good. Um, That's a nice way to set it up in the binder. It actually worked out really nicely. And then we got the whole Eevee loop over here and Eevee and then Alakazam. Dude, I love the dark Alakazam in this set. It's so nice. We got the energies, the disgusting dark Magneton. And then I actually love these, even though they're uncommon, they're so beautiful. The two special energy cards. And last but not least, the last page, we got Meowth and Dark Persian. And then we got the boss's way right next to Persian. You got to do it. And then, yeah, I got the rest of the cards right here. And then somehow I lost my only psychic energy i don't know how anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and you know comment one of your favorite cards from the video personally mine has to be dark charizard and dark blastoise those oh and dark magneton of course that okay that is the best card in the set without a doubt um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed day 10 of 14 days of the nerd period of the nerd period dave dave 10 of 14 days of nerd period we're going on strong boys and we're gonna we're gonna win we're gonna get this done i uploaded a really good video yesterday so check that out if you haven't watched it um and yeah guys i love you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace